Welcome to the YouTube channel of Shait Vidya Mandir Vasai East. Myself Lavina teacher, your assistant teacher. This video is of chapter 12, Our Human Resources, part 2. Causes and rapid increase in population. What are the causes of increase in population? The first one is the death rate has decreased whereas the birth rate has not decreased in the same ratio and the second point is lack of education due to advancement in the field of medicines the death rate has decreased rapidly whereas the birth rate has not decreased in the same ratio due to lack of education Birth, uh, birth rate cannot be controlled. The difference between birth rate and death rate is called growth rate. Population distribution. Let us know how a population of a country is distributed. The total population of India is nearly 1.22 billion. It is not equally distributed. While some regions are thinly populated, means very few people live there. Others are thickly populated, means the number of people staying are, is high. The regions with more facilities are thickly populated. The areas with less facilities are less populated. The plain areas are densely populated. These areas have fertile land and irrigation facilities they have a developed means of transport and communication and other essential services Punjab Haryana Uttar Pradesh Bihar and West Bengal are among the densely populated states plateau areas are less populated Mountain areas and desert areas are also sparsely populated, means very thinly populated. The delta regions are thickly populated as there are fertile areas. According to last 2011 census, the density of population in India is 382 per square kilometer. West Bengal had the highest density with 1030 persons per square kilometer. Arunachal Pradesh had the lowest density with 17 persons per square kilometer. The following other steps have to be taken by the government to face the problem of sparse population. Point number one, create jobs or employment facilities. Point number two, arrange for irrigation facilities. Third, educate the people. Fourth, open more schools, colleges and technical institutes. Fifth, improve transport and communication facilities. It is not the number of persons but the quality of persons that counts. A large part of the population is dependent. The adult population is only 56% and a large number of this percentage is unemployed. Therefore, our national income and per capita income is low. The government is making efforts to raise the standard of living in the following ways. Schools and colleges have been opened. Hospitals and medical facilities are being provided. Many schemes have been launched for the upliftment of the rural people. The Ministry of Human Resource Development has been established to deal with this problem.